Hundreds of marine animals spend part of their lives in an estuary, where fresh water from the land meets salt water from the ocean. Join us and meet some of these extraordinary creatures. This is what they call a sea hare. I'm going to bring him out and you can get a good look at what they thought was a rabbit. Now I always say that uh, this particular animal that lives on the edges of the estuary, they come in and they lay their egg strings in the springs. Eons ago, this particular creature had a shell like a gastropod that you just saw with the lightning whelk. So this creature developed its body and only has a remnant of the ancient shell in here, inside the wings. But it is able to live and survive for all these millions of years without the shell. Now you notice the wings that I'm pushing back and forth. This is how it flies. And by fly, I mean through the water. <laughs> but this is a neuter branch. It eats, it's a bottom feeder. And it's basically found in the seagrass beds. So these are tunicate. A tunicate is a colonial animal. This is, there's as many animals living together, like a sponge, like a coral. There's many different species. This is just one of them. They're naturally occurring out here in the estuary. However, you do see that it attaches itself to seagrass often. This is some turtle grass. They're also in filter feeders. They take in water, they release water, so they're good for the environment. A sea squirt is another type of tunicate. They obviously take in water and expel water. He looks like a little brain. Okay, he does, <laughs> he he does, does. doesn't he? <laughs> like a banana brain. Like a banana brain. It's a squirt out. <laughs> it squirts out right there. See its little mouth right there. See? Visit the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program website and learn more about the animals that live in our estuary.